The truth table is one of the most versatile symbols in Crestron programming. It allows you to condense multiple digital symbols into one and gives you the freedom to create a truth table manually. To get the truth table into your program, click the logic folder under the program view, type in the speed key TT, and hit enter. Alternatively, you can expand the conditional folder under the symbols library, and then click and drag the truth table over to the detail view. Like we said earlier, the truth table allows you to create your own digital logic without using a bunch of different digital symbols. It takes up to 16 inputs, and provides up to 16 outputs. But the magic happens inside each of the expandable input conditions and output states. Each test condition has one cell for each input, and each output state has one cell for each output. The input cells can hold an H for high, an L for low, or X for it doesn't matter if the input is high or low. The output cells can only hold a high or a low value. Combinations of test conditions and output states define the truth table's behavior. When an input changes, the states of all inputs are compared to each input condition. And then when an input condition is found that matches the input states, the outputs are set to the corresponding output state. Note that all possible input combinations must be accounted for in the test conditions. This is quite a bit to take in, so let's build an example program. Let's imagine for this case that we want to activate air conditioning when at least two different rooms in a three-bedroom house are occupied. We're going to take the number of inputs down to 3, and we'll take the number of outputs down to 1. There's one input for each of the rooms in the house, and it represents the room's occupancy. The output represents the on-off state of the HVAC system. And like we said before, the output will only be true when at least two of the inputs are true. The inputs will be driven by three separate toggles. and the toggles will be triggered by outputs from an X panel. And the output of the truth table will go straight back to the X panel. Since we have three inputs, we'll need to account for eight test conditions, one for each possible input combination. Since we want the output to be true when at least two of the inputs are true, we'll need three cases of combinations of high, high, and don't care. And since we have each of the true cases accounted for, every other case will make the HVAC turn off. So the last case will be an X, an X, and an X. Note that the don't care case has to be the last test condition. Okay, so with the program finished, let's compile and upload to the processor. With the program running, let's make sure the truth table works the way we told it to. If zero or one of the rooms are occupied, we notice that the HVAC system stays off. But the moment that we have two or more rooms occupied, the HVAC turns on. And it doesn't matter which combination of rooms we use, as long as at least two of the rooms are occupied, the HVAC system will turn on. This is a very specific case of how to use the truth table, but it's most common to use them in situations where you'd like to consolidate your programming. Using conventional logic, this would have taken a much longer time to put together and would have required more logic symbols. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see something else in our videos, leave us a comment below or on our Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr or Instagram pages. Maybe MySpace. We might have a MySpace.